country and today I'm going to be showing you my rabbit showmanship video that was requested on my Facebook. Um, this is going to be educational so it's not going to be as fast as it would be if you were actually showing in 4-H. It's mostly just walking you through showing you how to do everything, what to properly wear, and everything like that. So without further ado, I'd like to get into the video and show you what you'll need to wear and how to show your outfit. You can see I'm dressed a little bit funny than how you might normally be dressed and I am in my attire that I will be wearing when I go to the fair. Some things may change a little bit, but this is generally what you want to wear. So first, I have on a white button. -up. You will need to check with the head of rabbits for your fair or county or whoever you are going through for 4-H because every 4-H differs as to whether you just need a white button up or if you need a white button up and a lab coat. Mine is just a white button up, but make sure you do check with the head of your rabbits for fair and they will tell you whether you need a lab coat or not. Next, you can wear a belt, that's optional, but everything has to be formal. You have to look presentable and you have to be formal, so a belt is optional, but personally I feel that it ties everything in, so I wear a belt when I show. Next are your pants. When you wear your pants, you want to either wear black dress pants or jeans with no rips. Do not have rips in them, do not have holes. It's best to just wear a plain pair of jeans. I just have on Hollister jeans right now. They're very basic, no holes, no rips, just normal jeans, and that is formal enough for showing. Or you can wear black dress pants. It's completely up to you and either is accepted. But again, check with the head of rabbits at your fair to make sure that both are accepted because some are more strict than others. Next is your shoes. You can either wear sneakers or boots. Personally, I wear sneakers when I go just because it's more comfortable for me and I feel that it looks a little bit better with my outfit, but some may require you to do one or the other, so make sure again that you check with the head of rabbits for your fare or wherever you will be going through that you can wear this. Everything I'm explaining here is for only 4-H. Uh, this may go for youth and ag in some places and it may go for ARBA in certain places, but I am not a part of either of those, so I can't give you exact answers. So please make sure that you check with the head of wherever you are going through that this does follow the attire that you need to wear. Lastly is your hair. You want to have it pulled back. Do not have it down. I just have mine in two braids and a bun from work, but anything works. Just do not have it down. Have it pulled back. It can be in braids, a pony. It doesn't matter. Just make sure it's pulled back and no hats. You do not want a hat on. You want to look formal. So this is my rabbitry outfit. For showing bunnies at the fair. So next up, let's hop right on into showmanship and you can see my little girl all is right, already So now there. we're gonna hop right into showmanship. You may recognize this bunny as this is Millie. She's only about three months old, so she's very new to everything, which is why I decided to use her today as a demonstration because it will be a good idea for some people who may not have their bunnies in a show before or they're just very new to everything and they may have to learn it. So this will give a good example of what it's like to have a bunny who is not used to it all and is not show ready and is not exactly prepared and has never been through it so that you can kind of get a determination on how to do things. Now when you do go into the table booth, whatever they have, mine is just a table in our rabbit barn. <laughs> Millie ran off so she'll be back in a minute. But mine is just a table in my rabbit barn. So when you go in, you want to be carrying the bunny in your arms and you don't want to have it on his back. That is a no-no. If you see it in a lot of pet rabbit groups, they're going to say that it's really bad for them, which in my experience, it's not. They are very safe that way, but you do not want to walk in like that. So I will go grab Millie and I will show you how to properly carry a bunny over to the judging table and then properly set it down when you are going this to This is show. what they classify as the proper way is having their head in your elbow and then you will set it down on the table and now you are good to begin. So Millie is not exactly ready, but we are going to hop right into it and show you how to do it. So if you can't, you want your bunny to be posed the whole time. So I'm just going to hold her head there because she is not very familiar with posing and you're gonna make them sit still and be ready. So then you're going to say to the judge, your school that you go to, your name, your age, how long you have been in 4-H, how long you have been showing rabbits in 4-H, if this is your first time showing or not, and basic information about you. So I'm not going to give exact personal information here, but I will give some to give an idea. So I would say hello, and if they tell you their name, then you can go ahead and say hello 
whatever their name is, if they don't just say hi. My name is Treya, last name. I am 16 years old. This is my fourth year showing in 4-H. And this is my bunny, Millie. Then you'll say their age. So for this instance, I'm going to say that she is three months old. She is a purebred Holland Lop and she is a frosty doe. She is very lovable, sweet, and calm in most cases. And she absolutely loves getting attention. As for me, I breed Holland Lops and they are all non-Vienna pedigreed rabbits. I have also recently gotten into the white ear gene with rabbits. And you basically just want to continue giving information about yourself. You want the judge to know you, feel comfortable with you, and get to know who they are listening to when you are talking. Now, when you say this, you want to be confident in everything that you are saying. Try to say um as little as possible and try and make sure that they know that they are talking to someone who is comfortable talking to them. So try your best to not say um and just be very fluent and talk a lot to the judge and get him to know who you are and who this bunny is that he is listening thing that I do when I move on is again, keep the bunny post. And you can see that Millie is kind of doing it on her own, although not very perfectly. So I'm going to keep my hand there. Now they may act up a bit and if they do, that's okay. Personally, in my 4-H group, he is very helpful and he is very willing to help you with whatever you need. So that's how I do it if they mess up. My first year was very rough. My buck had never been bred before and all that he wanted was a doe. So it made it difficult, but the judge was very helpful. So first thing that I like to move into when I am going to talk about my bunny is their fur type. So if you want to, you can say again that she is a frosty. Then you're going to brush the hair. You're going to go ahead and brush the hair and you can say that she has a dense coat, but all of the hairs are thin and soft. Now, right now she does still have some of her baby coat that may be gone by fair, but for this instance, I'm going to say that she still has some of her baby coat and has not gone through her full first molt yet. So it is a lot softer than the average Holland Lop, but it is very dense, although very thin. Next up, I like to move to the head. So when you move to the head, you kind of, personally for me, I like to go from back to front. So I'm going to start off with their ears. So you can say she has a shorter ear that is fully lopped and has no ear control. Then you're going to want to lift up the ear and you can say this is how tall it is and you can compare it to your finger if you would like, that's completely optional. And then you're going to want to take either your pinky or your ring finger or your pointer finger and you will stick it in the ear and spin it around gently and pull it out and say there is no discharge or discoloration and or mites coming from my rabbit's ear. You can also then move it and you can say See, there is nothing in the ear and it is clean. Then you're going to want to say her ear number. They do have to have a ear number to show in 4-H. So I would say you can see in the left ear that she has an ear number. It is MDM. Again, that is MDM. And that is how you show that ear. Then you're going to move downwards. So then I'm going to say, here are her eyes. She has darker brown eyes with no discharge in any of the corners and they are very clear and clean and there is no filament or anything on top of the eye. So then you're gonna wanna take your pointer finger and your thumb. Now you have to be gentle with this. I did get marked two points down and those were the only two points I lost my first year showing because I opened the eye too aggressively. Um, my buck, again, was misbehaving. It was kind of difficult, so I did get marked down two points for that. But you're going to want to take your thumb up top, pointer finger, and lightly spread it. And then you can move it around and say, see, there is no discharge, gunk, or anything on the eye that may cause uncomfortability or anything like that. Then, for this instance, you do want to keep them facing forward, but to show you, I am going to spin her. So you would not do this on the table. You would keep them facing forward. So then we're gonna move on to the nose. Now I leave the teeth until they are on their back. 
that is personally easier for me um, but you can do either so if you want to do the teeth now you can or you can do the teeth when you flip them on their back which will be here in a couple minutes so then you're gonna say here's her nose and you'll move one side no discharge and no discharge in that side either now she has no discharge you want to make that clear you want to show that she has no mucus no sign of sniffles anything like that um, that she is perfectly healthy then again you would still have her facing this way but i'm going to have her turn for the sake of this video she is getting antsy now you're going to move to this eye again thumb and pointer finger and lightly roll it and move the eye do you see how i'm doing that and you'll say she has no discharge no mucus in her eyes and her eyes are clear now for this side you're gonna again show the ear and you can say see she has a short ear it has no ear control and it does not have any bite or chew marks out of it it also has no loss of hair then lift it up and you can say see there is no visible mites and then you'll stick your finger in and gently move it and you will show the judge your finger and make it clear that there is no yellow discharge mites or anything coming out on the finger so she has a clear and healthy ear she is getting very antsy with me so now you're going to flip the bunny over you finish the top flip them over so to do that millie will probably not like this because this is not how i flip bunnies over so you're gonna take pointer finger in between the ears lift the ears up and get them in between keep all their body in your arm you don't want to let it out and now you're going to pick them up and flip them over so you can see how i did that i just picked okay. her up so now we're going to show the underside of the bunny so for this part you're going to start with the body at least that's how i like to start and you're going to feel the stomach Okay, feel the stomach and the sides, and you will say, see, there are no bumps, lumps, or anything that would cause something to be wrong with her. So she has a healthy body with no bumps or lumps. Now, I move up to the mouth at this point because I just feel that this is a good spot now to I'm do Now I'm going it. to show you how to properly do the mouth. So you're going to take your thumb or pointer finger, whatever you're comfortable with, and go ahead and move the lip and I'll show you on this side move the lip so you can see the teeth and you'll say see her teeth are healthy and they are not overgrown and you want to show them all of that now here again you can show the nose there is no discharge or anything causing any health Back to concern. the body so now I go to the legs so for the legs you're going to grab it and stretch it out and grab it and stretch it out don't pull hard just stretch it enough and she didn't like that one which is okay stretch it now while you say each of these you can say that there are no broken bones <laughs> now while you stretch and do each of these you can say that there are no broken bones And again just stretch okay so now you're gonna move to the feet so you have to show each paw so now you have to show each paw so when you do that I am only going to show one for the sake of this video so it does not go as long but you're gonna go and show the nail show the nail 
Maybe we can show the nail. And you will just say one nail, two nails, three, four, and don't forget the dew claw, five. And then on the back, one, two, three, four. My rabbit has all of her nails and toes. Now, for a better view, I'm going to flip Millie around and change the angle so that you can see how to show the okay, sex. So now I'm gonna show you how to show the sex of your bunny to the judge. So, you are going to take this and lift it up until you find their genitals and push it back gently do not be rough and then spread it and you can see that i am showing him the sex and you could say that is an intact doe now the next thing that you're going to show is the tail you're going to do what's called scissoring where you put the tail in and slide your fingers down so you're going to scissor the tail and you can say this is how long the tail is and there are no broken bones or fractures in my rabbit's tail now you have basically completed showing so you can flip them back over and pose them for the very end and you can say and again this is my bunny millie and i hope you enjoyed our presentation or judging or whatever word you would like to use completely depends on you and I guess how you're feeling and how you felt the best showing went and you will say again this is my bunny Millie thank you for watching and thank you for judging I hope you have a wonderful day and basically just give him a goodbye and a thank you and keep your bunny posed throughout this anytime they are sitting and not on their back you want them to be posed if they can be and you have now shown a rabbit in 4-H so I hope this video was very helpful to you. Even though Millie was being a little bit difficult, this does give a good idea of how it may be if your rabbit has never shown before. As long as you are confident and gentle with your rabbit, the judge most likely will not diss any of your uh, qualities that you have shown or anything because he sees that you are having difficulties. But handle it in a respectful and proper manner and you will be good to go so i hope this video was helpful to you and i know that millie did not enjoy being my little 4-h buddy but it's okay it was a good experience for her so i hope you all have a wonderful day and be sure to check out everything in the description like my facebook and instagram as well as website so have a good day everyone and i hope this was helpful to you and millie was so happy to help you I was hanging with you and then I realized I didn't think it was true I was surprised when I found out I'd fallen for you